Hey, you. Yes, you there. The person on the other side of the balcony. I'm talking to you. <laughs> it's pretty late, but so fancy to see you out here, I guess. Well, I've seen you a few times like this. So, <laughs> why are you always out here just taking photos? If you really want to take a picture of something cool, there's always people like me, you know? <laughs> no? Fine, save yourself. It's best you not regret it. Well, you can always ask for it next time. But... I'm assuming we're like the same age. Well, I think we share a world history class together. Yeah, of course I would notice you. It's hard to not recognize someone who literally lives right next to me and also sits right next to me in class as well. <laughs> Oh, say, um, just wondering, uh, do you take the public transport around? Uh, because I swear, waking up early to catch the bus for class from here, oh, it's so freaking tiring. Oh, you drive? Uh, really? That's nice. <laughs> if only I could say the same myself, um, huh? I mean, yeah, we do share the same destination in that sense, but sending me to class, are you really okay with that? And thank you, really. I've always wanted to ask how you get there, but would be pretty awkward walking up to someone you haven't talked to before asking like personal stuff like that, especially in a public setting. Trust me. I mean, we technically have spoken before, yes. I know you helped me answer a question or two during classes when the lecturers were just bugging me with them. So, right now, I can finally take this opportunity to thank you, I guess. So, with your camera there, I suppose you have an interest in photography? Perhaps join the photography club then? Uh, uh, no? But, well, why not? I mean, <laughs> well, I mean, I am the vice president of that club as well, so it would be more than welcoming for a member like you. Plus, I can always sign you up. Still a no? <laughs> oh, but if you join the photography club now, I can show you what dreams are made of. <laughs> Perhaps a little too cheesy for you? <laughs> so, forget about it. Just back to the topic at hand. I'm guessing you enjoy capturing moments with that little camera of yours, don't you? <laughs> well, seeing you practically obsessed with holding that little guy in your hands, I wouldn't think otherwise. I never said it was a bad thing. It's always nice to capture things you find pretty or memorable, captured in a single frame of that you'll be able to save a copy of the moment forever through those lenses of yours. 
even if the mind forgets. <laughs> you just took a photo of me, didn't you? <laughs> well, better late than never, I guess. <laughs> At least you could say that I'm glad my gut feeling about you was right, though. But, it's still not fair. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for it, the photo. I guess I'll have to mentally prepare myself whenever I'm with you then. Taking silly photos like that. <laughs> well, say, to make even more memories, as so to speak, Right now, I know a place we can head together. You can see the night sky way better, and the vibes there are just amazing. Would be a shame if I don't bring someone as awestruck as you there. <laughs> I mean, I live alone, so keys are always with me. You? Do you have a roommate or something, or are you the same? Well, no matter what you say, I'm gonna have to take you along with me. <laughs> Just meet me downstairs at alley at T minus now. <laughs> I'll be there waiting for you. <laughs> we out. Hey, you're here. <laughs> you, uh, are you okay? <laughs> you look pretty nervous. First time a girl asks you out of something? <laughs> Just toying with you. Come with me. It shouldn't be too far off. <laughs> so, um, what do you do after classes? No, just curious. You know, just small talk. That jazz. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you have a job? That's great. Being independent and having extra in your pockets will always come in handy. Me? I? Fortunately, have the luxury of avoiding physical work. <laughs> nah, just a freelance web designer. Just pick up contracts whenever or from whoever, I guess. <laughs> You'd be surprised at the amount of businesses that pay good for that. Seriously. <laughs> Maybe if you work with me, with that little camera of yours, Capturing B-rolls for the food businesses out there. Maybe we'd make a good duo, don't you think? <laughs> oh, fireworks. Why are there... Uh, yes, the Lunar New Year. <laughs> well, it is coming up after all. <sighs> Well, the fireworks and a view like this certainly make things better, don't you think? <laughs> yeah, take a breath for fresh air and just relax. <laughs> Lie on the grass with me. Come on! <laughs> hey, don't knock it till you try it. If you're worried about the hair, you could always clean yourself up when you get back, seriously. That's it. Now look up. The stars certainly shine brighter than how they usually are, don't they? As cliche as that may sound. But things are often portrayed as cliche because they're good, right? 
The view may change from down there, but the night sky doesn't. But the stars do get burned out, anyways. Whether it's by a dozen or one by one. <laughs> but that's what your camera is for, right? Creates a space for the world that maintains tranquility and eternity in a single photograph. Advantage from that is when you just want to relax and look back, you have a source of memories to rummage through and for a moment, live through those moments again. <laughs> I'm sure you do that often, don't you? Well, I am just pointing out the obvious, aren't I? Life moves on so fast and so many events quickly turn into memories, so that's truly one way of capturing them, wouldn't it be? But if you hold on to the past too much, that's when things will also start to weigh you down. Life is uphill, exhausting. Even when you're trying to have fun, you'll feel the strain on your shoulders and you won't be able to enjoy yourself. Well, I guess you are enjoying it right now. In the sound of you capturing pictures like this. <laughs> I guess even if you forget the path to here, at least you'll be able to leave with fond memories. <laughs> or that just means we get to hang out more. <laughs> your choice. Who knows? Maybe once your heart has settled after experiencing so much, maybe this will be the place you find peace from home. <laughs> well, just hoping it would leave a deeper impression on you was what I was trying to say. Honestly, I <laughs> didn't think you would actually sneak out with me. I guess with that innocent look in your eyes, I mistook you for a baby. <laughs> because this is my peace from home. Despite living in that apartment since the pandemic, when your own room is associated with work now, it's hard to relax in there. I just come here to get things off my chest, really. Well, I guess uh, when it comes to you, I guess I have to say I don't enjoy history class so much. Wow, big surprise! And yet I still go to every single class. But I guess if I was really interested in the subject, I wouldn't have been able to meet you, I guess. Would have been too focused in class in every single word from the professor. But I just doze off and daydream at times. But from that, you'd be the one helping me out in class, so... <laughs> and unfortunately, it's weirder since we basically don't talk other than in that class. Especially when you practically live right next to me. I mean, I guess I'm glad I mustered up the courage to take you here today. Because I had a feeling if we talk and get to know each other more, we definitely click or, you know, be compatible in that sense. You... again? 
Hmm, what the hell does that mean? Huh? Well, I guess... Thanks for letting me talk. One thing I moved out into that apartment was because my family never lets me talk. Only my dad, but I could tell he's not really listening. But you do. It's just weird, isn't it? Some girl next door dragged me out and forced me to listen to a monologue. <laughs> so. Really, thank you. And I guess in your language, despite being with a so-called still a stranger in my book, I wish I could stay in this moment forever. With you. <laughs> you know, you've been taking pictures of the surroundings and myself, but have you ever taken a photo of yourself like this? Weird? What do you mean? People do this a lot nowadays, no? Oh, come on now. Just give me your camera. I swear, I, I'm the vice president of the photography club. I can take good pictures too. Besides, this is for your memory's sake, isn't it? And it'd be a good change of pace too. Come here. Smile. <laughs> Finally, a picture of you in that photo album of yours. I guess you could say I made history today. Well, we could always make more memories, right? I swear we have to hang out more after this. I swear. I still haven't shown you more places like my favorite place to eat or, you know, stuff like that. I have a feeling we'd have a lot of fun. Well, it's stretching a little late for me. Kinda have to meet a client in the morning, so... If you want to continue to dwell or drown in the moment here, just, you, know, you can continue as you like. I just hope you know the way back. And just... I'll be taking my leave then. Oh, perhaps you could do one more thing for me tonight and just as a thanks for accompanying me out tonight and listening to me. Yeah, just stay there. <laughs> Close your eyes. <laughs> Oh, come on! Tell me you didn't expect that. I dare you. <laughs> well, it was just as a thanks, I suppose. And I guess I'll see you whenever then. Good night, silly neighbor.